You ready? Yes. Are these things that you have done? Or did you that, just create That's it? not important. That's not okay. important, man. Like, you know, God forgives and forgets. All right. Welcome to Beyond the Pulpit. My name is Andrew Ashley, and today I have a very special guest, a really cool individual, cool friend, um, Dr. Heather Thompson Day, who is an author and also a professor um, at Andrews University. So basically, the idea is that, you know, in this dating world, um, there is seems to be a right way of doing things, a righteous right, right, way of doing right. things, and then there's a ratchet way of okay. doing things. So I want to ask you some questions, um, and I want you to tell me if it's righteous or ratchet. And if it's ratchet, I want you to tell me how could this situation, how could this statement be righteous? Does okay. that make sense? All yeah. right. What you doing tonight? You trying to hang out? Ratchet. Why is that ratchet? Y you trying to hang out? Like you're asking her, that's not even, a that's like not you're, asking You want to hang out? No, you trying to hang out is like putting it where are you trying to hang out with me rather than, hey, I would love to hang out with you. Okay. There's a big difference in those two statements. Mm -hmm. Righteous is to say, hey, I've noticed you. I would love to hang out with you. I want to court you, to marry you. Can I do that? I mean, I don't want to call it ratchet, but it's creepy. It's creepy. We're so, gonna, are, is this a first? Have I just this is met asking, you? This is asking. Like, I, I want to court you. I like you. I want you. Can't, no. Can't, no. No. That's ratchet. Ratchet. So, so how would... Because, you know, we're talking about being Hi. direct. Hi. Would you like to hang out sometime? I am very interested in you. I would love to know more. There you we go. You have caught my eye. You have caught my attention. I would love to ask you about X, Y, and Z. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Do you want to grab some Taco Bell? I mean, we're going to say righteous. Okay. So you like that. Okay. I like it. So that's an appropriate way to ask someone on a date. I mean, Taco, Taco Bell, Bell, maybe not the best foot to lead with. Maybe not the best. But it's, it's if I'm, I'm a college go... student, I'm on a budget. I mean, so you, here's, so you I... want me to be fiscally responsible. You want a man who's fiscally <laughs> responsible. I know my lane. I would rather, this is just me talking, and I do mm -hmm. give this advice to my students when they ask me, what do I do? I say, ask her if she'd like to go on a walk. I mean, Taco Bell is just, it, may, it would make me feel cheap. Hmm. And that's not the message you want to send. Yeah. So it's still righteous because you're, you're asking, I want to hang out with you, I want to spend time with you. But I think that there's more creative ways that you can do that where a girl would be like, oh my goodness, he asked me if I want to, I don't know, go to a poetry slam with him. How cool mm. is that? Right? Okay. Tap into some cool things okay. happening on campus. Be creative. Yeah, be yeah, creative. Yeah, I hear you. I think you would make an awesome help me. <laughs> yeah, it's a compliment. It's like... Ratchet. Ratchet. Why? No. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. No, just no. Just don't do that. So the word helpmate is actually, it comes from um, the root word easer. Right in the mm -hmm. Hebrew, and it's used with in, in First Samuel. They tell it comes. This is the first time we see it, where um, they the Israelites are surrounded and they're looking for help. And so Samuel raises up his Ebenezer and says, "Hitherto hath the Lord helped us." Of the forty-five times that we see the word Ezer in Scripture, forty-two of them denote help from someone stronger. So when God mm. said, "This is your helpmate," this is your Ezer, so He said, compliment. "This is who is going to make you stronger." Mm. So go to somebody and say, "Hey, I've noticed that you would make me stronger. That is mm. powerful. I noticed that you'll be my helpmate." People don't understand what the actual language yeah. for that was. Yeah. I feel like God is calling me to date you. Is it true? Yeah, God, God told me in a dream last night that we should be dating. I mean, okay, yeah, righteous. I don't think it's. I don't think there's anything wrong with that if it's true. If you genuinely mm -hmm. feel like that, I, maybe you don't leave well, with that. Well, yeah, it, but... it never really worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna just butt in real quick. I think that's a little ratchet. Like that's never gonna work. I don't know work. if it's ratchet because what? Okay, well, here's here's the thing, and this is again like statistically, mm -hmm. men believe in love at first sight. Women do not. 
Men say, I knew it the second I saw her. My dad, my mom was a waitress, my dad was on Broadway, and she came to his table, she was actually supposed to be gone, and she ended up taking an extra shift, and she came to his table, and he leaned to the person that came with him the sec right after she walked away and said, that is my wife. Like, I, he felt like God had said, that is your wife. And, and they're, they've been married like 40 years, and they're so happy. And that's, okay. and that's normal for men to say. So I just think we need to find a way where it's not pressure on mm -hmm. her, you know? But I think it's okay to say, hey, I'm really interested in you, and I, I just feel led to... Yeah, and so maybe this. encourage the other person to pray about it yeah, as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great stuff. So this last one I I used maybe once, um, and yeah, didn't work out too too great. So here here we go. But I like it. It's fun. Girl, you look like trash. Can I take you out? Boom. Boom. <laughs> Are you laughing? It's good. This is a good one, right? It's clever. It's clever. It makes you laugh. I, it, and I'm asking it you out. It wouldn't make me laugh. No. I wouldn't laugh. I would be probably upset and offended. Okay. So, and you said it worked? No, I never said it. No, I just, I was. Oh, you were going no, to? No, I never said it. Oh yeah, no. it's it's. Yeah, offensive. that's a, that's offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't say that. You should probably. I never. There are no tapes. Yeah. Were never, the cameras there at yeah. that moment? Because that's. Never said we're it. We're gonna have to put that on the B roll. It's ratchet. Okay, it's ratchet. It. It's ratchet.